Breaking IGP appoints DCP Tunji Disu to replace DCP Abakari as IRT boss. Assures that the IRT will remain focused in the discharge of its professional mandate. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman Al Kali Baba, PSC. NPM FDC has today, 2nd August 2021, approved the posting of DCP Tunji Disu as the new head of the police intelligence response team. The posting of the officer is on the heels of management's decision to fill the leadership gap with, within the IRT and refocus the unit for better service delivery. The IGP has charged the new head of the IRT to demonstrate his professional competence in his leadership of the unit. He will also assure citizens that the IRT will remain focused in the discharge of his duties in line with national statutes and international best practices. Like as if you were serving the people before giving fake updates for what? <laughs> Prior to his appointment as the new head of IRT, DCP Tujidisu, a former commander of the Rapid Response Squad, RRS, Lagos State, was the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Department of Operations, Force Headquarters, Abuja. He had also previously served at the State CID, River State, as the Deputy Head of the Unit. He was also a former commander of the Nigeria Police Contingent to the African Union Peacekeeping Mission in Darfur, Sudan. DCP Disu holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in English from the Lagos State University and a Master's degree in Public Administration from the Adekunle Ajassin University, Undo State. He has also attended several professional courses, both at home and abroad, small arms smuggling training in Botswana, internet fraud training at the Cambridge University, UK, Strategic Leadership Command course at the Police Staff College, JOS Forensic Investigations and Criminal Intelligence course at the University of Lagos, amongst others. He is a member of the International Association of Chiefs of Police Nigeria Institute of Public Relations and Chattered Institute of Personnel Management amongst other professional bodies. His posting is with immediate effect. All right. Okay, cool. So, um, obviously, it, it just went through why, I don't know, went through his, you know, um, his uh, skills, literally listed out his, his CV here. Um, it would make sense if, you know, they had a tight relationship with the people and, uh, you know, the people and the IRT were always, you know, working hand in hand uh, and were consistent, you know, making cases. In this case, you're giving updates like as if the people care. The people don't care because you don't care about the people. So I don't know what kind of update you're giving. But at least we now know who is now filling his position and these are the things is required. But then again... If you're going to replace, you know, the well, I mean, the most decorated, well decorated, most decorated officer in Nigeria, Super Cop, Abakari, I guess you need to have a lot of, you know, things under your belt for you to be able to prove worthy of being in that position because a lot of people are going to ask questions. Um, I mean, some may even say that, you know, better calm down, you know, um, settle down because that is going to be your position. But... We do not know the outcome of the case of Abakari. Um, with Abakari's reputation, it's very much dangerous that he would be seen um, as a different person, as in, you know, with the morale and everything. Yeah, so somebody here says, beware of banana peel. I don't know what that... Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, but be careful for anything done in the dark will be seen in the day. Oh, wow. Not everyone really seems to be on, you know, good sides with this. Um, good, good, and you are most welcome. Policing work is not for someone to hold, not for someone to hold an office for long. It's routine. Therefore, your appointment is welcome. Development in order to save the situation. And once again, congrat. Didn't a Fulani man for the position in the other. What? Yeah, but then, are you surprised? Listen. So I don't, I don't understand if they put an evil person. What does that mean to do? For another, person, like what, what would that signify? <laughs> they are evil. They are evil governors who are out here. Look at them. So are, are they necessarily allies to hype or anything? It doesn't make a difference. Uh, someone says, rottenness is rotten in the rot. <laughs> Which of our national life is free from these canker worms? Hope this song will not be worse than Kiari. Hmm. I don't know because. This one that is having all these skills in the world. Hopefully he's good. But yeah, this intelligence response team and all. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But really and truly, I even think Nigerians care. Of course, this he, he's feeling in that position. So of course, some an, uh, attention and relevance would come to him. But Nigerians really care. Nigerians are going to really focus on you know how everything goes on in America. 
and the outcome of the case because that is what Nigerians really care about at the moment. So it's not surprising, absolutely not surprising um, if Nigerians don't really even put in any effort to, I mean, <laughs> okay, fine, you are here for now, let's go. Except, okay, fine. If Abakari is found guilty, then of course, you know, whatever punishment is doing there, fine. Which means that this person that is there will probably remain in that position. As well as um, if he's found innocent, then this person is going to go. But seeing with the case, it might get complicated. It might take very, very long. We we'll never really know. Um, and yeah, that's actually it. Somebody here says, hello, please learn from the mystic of Super Cup. God will surely help you. Super Cup or no, it's not like as if you can trust anyone there. I mean, I, I, this, with all these positions, with all these branches of security agencies of the security forces of Nigeria, like there are so many branches, there are so many divisions, and they're all not good. They're not as effective. They're not effective. They're not doing anything. So it's like, be it, it, I don't know, but it's just like, what's the point? What's the point? They're not doing their job anyway. They're not. They're not fantastic. It's not something that you're like, oh wow, what a what a fantastic like. If something like this doesn't happen. We're like, oh okay, we're at peace now. You know, at least there's been a replacement. No, we don't have that kind of relationship. We don't have a system where you know the intelligence response team has proven to be consistent in fixing battles where Abakari's, you know, um, Abakari's arrest would be a, would be such a shock and such a hurt to people where they're like, what? No, they're like, listen, we don't have that kind of relationship in Nigeria. So everything right now. We're just cruising to be honest like it's not it's not really something where you know where we're like oh this new person hopefully you do well like what <laughs> um somebody here says no congrats leopards does not change its color well somebody here says i'm not a day carry sorry hmm. congratulations the system is rotten be careful or else you stumble again the system is rotten what do we have to, to expect there's no standards there is no the bare minimum is the is gold for nigerians at this point so it's not because if we're out here expecting the best um we're expecting the same thing if anything he may be worse um if anything if if he's not worse then he's not doing anything it's, it's either those two it's not even better uh, it's either he's worse than a carry or you know um he just doesn't do anything and he becomes relevant and the conversation about him just ends and stops there because you don't really care <laughs> um do nigerians even know there's an intelligence response team of the nigerian police mm, i don't think so so yeah what i think about this and do not forget to like and subscribe